Good morning, greetings in the mighty name of Jesus. It is a great joy and privilege once again, beloved and friends, uh, to be here this morning to minister the word of God. I trust the Lord that everyone is in good health and happiness, uh, regardless of our situation or world. As I always say, Jesus said in his words, Lo, I am with you always. I will never leave you nor forsake you, even unto the end of this world. Isn't that awesome? Isn't that great? Isn't that mighty, my friends and beloved, that God gave, an, gave us an assurance uh, that he will be with us uh, in every situation, in every situation circumstances in every trial and every testing in every tribulation in every storm he says in his words a thousand shall fall at thy side and ten thousand at thy right hand but no evil shall befall thee and no plague shall come by thy dwelling welcome this morning to the welcome this morning those of you listening to me from your living room, from your dining room, from your kitchen, from your car, from your office, on the street, with your phone, in church, or right here. God bless you richly from the depths of my heart. I really sincerely a blessing upon your life. And I pray that God will bless you this morning. God will bless you this uh, Friday morning. God will bless you. God will bless you in a very special way. God will bless you physically, and spiritually, socially, materially, financially, educationally in every area of your life. I pray that God will bless your homes. God will bless your children. God will bless your marriage. God will bless your finances. God will bless your business. God will bless you upon the job, on the job. And whatever you do, it shall prosper in Jesus' precious and gracious and wonderful name. I build a hedge around your life and I cover you under the precious blood of Jesus this morning, my friends and beloved. For the blood of Jesus is so efficacious and so powerful. The blood of Jesus is a repellent. The destroys every yoke and every bondage and every fetter and every evil and every work of darkness every spirit of witchcraft oh we are demonic forces evil blights the generational curses whether for second third or fourth generational curses upon your life I destroy under the precious blood I break every chain I break every buyer I break every fetter I break every evil I break every work of darkness and I set you free in Jesus precious and gracious and mighty name amen let's give a big hand God is awesome, God is great, and God is mighty. And when Jesus said in his words, healing is a children bread. And the first covenant he made with man was the covenant of healing. For he was wounded for our transgressions. He was bruised for our iniquities. The chastisement of our peace was upon him. And with his stripes we are healed. I am healed, you are healed, we are healed in Jesus' name. Let's give my hand this morning. My friends, hallelujah. But the thief cometh, but for to steal, to kill, and to destroy. Who is the thief this morning? The devil, Satan. The thief cometh, but for to steal, to kill, and to destroy. But Christ comes that you might have life, and life more abundantly. God wants you to walk in abundant life. He wants you to enjoy true peace, and joy, and happiness in a sin-sick world. But the devil wants to rob you this morning, my friends. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise God. Our world is heading for chaos and destruction. But before that happens, my friends, God promised. He says, I go to prepare a place for thee. And if I go to prepare a place for thee, I will come again. And there he and where I am, there you may be also. He says, in my father's house are many mansions. And if it were not so, I would have told thee. He says, I go to prepare a place. And if I go to prepare a place, I will come again to receive you unto myself. My friend, Jesus Christ is returning very soon. Before the seven-year tribulation period, I believe that Jesus Christ will come in the rapture, in the skies to take away the body of Christ. Before the start of the tribulation period there is a common census among christian scholars yes there is a common census among 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 christian scholars that my friends the rapture of the church 
is the next event on God's prophetic timeline. Yes, my friends, it is one of the greatest hopes of the Christian faith this morning, and it is studied in the mystery. It is studied in the mystery, and it is described as a blessed hope. It is what the Christian all across the world are looking forward to, my friends. It is what Christians all across the world are anticipating and looking, my friends, towards 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 they are that they are longing for this day they are yearning for this day my friends that are that they are waiting they are waiting they are waiting for the day that they will see the lord jesus christ in his glory the, the day that they will see him in in all of his glory yes and majesty the day they will see him in in all of his majesty yes they are waiting my friends for the day that they will be taken they will be taken even as i am preaching right now this sermon this morning their hearts are crying out uh, out the words of the permutator verse of the bible even so even so come even so come lord jesus hallelujah praise god they are desperate to be with their god they are tired of this world uh, sin sick world and all of the heartbreaks and sorrow they are tired of the corruption and chaos and confusion that is in the world they are and all they want is to spend eternity with their lord and savior my friends even so come come lord jesus even so come lord jesus they are not in love with this world they are not in love with jesus they are in love with jesus and they are waiting for the rapture they are waiting for the glorious day my friends, when the Lord Jesus Christ uh, shall break through the skies, uh, yes, in the dead, and the dead in Christ uh, shall rise first, uh, hallelujah, followed by millions uh, and millions and millions of Christians, uh, yes, uh, from North American Christians, uh, yes, uh, South American Christians, uh, millions, millions of uh, African Christians, uh, yes, millions and millions of Asian Christians, uh, yes, my friends, millions and millions uh, of European Christians. Christians, millions and millions of Oceanic Christians, ye shall all rise up to be taken, be taken, and never ever be a moment. Believe you are alone, my friends. Give a Lord big God is a big God this morning, and He has His people who worship Him and adore Him, my friends. In all, in all corners of this earth, you have brothers and sisters, my friends and beloved, all across the world. Yes. You have brothers brothers and sisters in this world in this world and we are brothers and sisters my friends yes brothers and sisters who would defend one another and support one another and unite together yes my friends and beloved this morning hallelujah first thessalonians chapter 4 verse 16 tells us for the lord himself will descend from heaven yes with a shout yes with a shout the voice of an archangel, hallelujah, and, and, and the trump of the God, and the dead in Christ shall rise. Yes, will rise first, hallelujah. On give him a hand this morning. Unfortunately, unfortunately, millions of billions of people on this earth will miss the rapture. They will miss the rapture. Unfortunately, my friends, it's so sad that billions of people will be taken during the rapture and they will be left behind because they have rejected Jesus Christ. Yes, they have rejected Jesus Christ. The rapture is going to be the most sudden and shocking event in the history of time. Hallelujah. Its effects shall be, shall be no doubt be the devastating my friends it will literally reshape the world nothing in the history in the history of mankind my friends will have the same effects as the rapture what will the media reaction be to the rapture how will the world attempt to explain the sudden disappearance, uh, disappearance of millions in billions, uh, millions of people. What amazes me, my friends, that uh, that shocks and amazes me is that they will be, they will still be people who will reject the gospel, reject the gospel true. Millions of people will seemingly vanish from the face of the earth. There will still be people who will reject the validity of the Bible, my friends. Yes 
the facts will be naked in front of them. The facts that all the people, my friends, will have suddenly disappeared. Had one thing in common, my friends, and that one thing they had in common was not their background, not their background or ethnicity, my friends, or social status. My friends, the one thing they all had in common is that they were all disciples, disciples of Jesus Christ. That reality will be standing right in front of them. Hallelujah. And people will still reject the gospel, my friends. However, this morning, they will also be some who will accept the gospel because because the loved ones who they used to view are slightly strange will have been raptured. Yes, my friends, they will realize that they were right. They will realize that men, my mother, who faithfully went to church every weekend was right. They, they will realize, my friends, my strange brother-in-law who kept telling me about Jesus. Yes, and the rapture was right. They will realize, they will realize that every time their mother tried to get them to go to church was simply because the mother loved them yes and they will open up the Bible my friends and read it with a newfound curiosity yes to find out what the, what will happen next the people left behind after the rapture will think back into the past yes my friends all the past missed opportunities to meet Jesus Christ Matthew chapter 24 yes verses 40 to 41 tells us this morning two men shall be in the field yes one will be taken and the other left yes two women will be grinding at the hand at the mill the hand of the mill one will be taken and the other one left my friends one will be taken and the other one will be left how will unbeliever unbelieving parents cope when the believing children are suddenly caught up my friends all over the nation all over the nation all over the world there is no doubt that great apostlement will catch up with people one will be taken my friends and one will be left on believing people who have their loved ones outside the country yes will never get to hear from them anymore phone calls will not be responded to message will not be replied all over the nation all over the world there is no doubt that the world will be puzzled my friends hallelujah I believe this will be one of the events that will allow the Antichrist to gain more power and influence my friends the world at this stage will be looking for answers uh, when the rapture happens my friends the world will be looking for answers and the Antichrist will come with those answers for the whole world yes to be ruled by one man it will take uh, it will take something that is literally order changing to, to happen my friends it will literally take something that will have people question their own reality my friends, just think about it. Look at all the, the religions in the world. There is no way people will abandon their religions in, the, in order to worship a man unless something of the scale of the rapture happens, my friends. There is no way nations will agree to be governed by one unless uh, unless something of the scale of the rapture was to happen, my friends. Yes, the saints will leave everything behind and bid farewell to the things of this world. Give the Lord a big hand without considering the consequences of those that will be left behind, my friends. There will be no closure. Yes, no time for goodbyes because the word of God tells us that the event will happen faster than a twinkling of an eye. My friends, imagine, imagine how people will cope with the sudden catching away of the spouses after the rapture. My friends, consider <coughs> the emotional devastation that with such people will be in one will be taken and one will be left. They will think back to the times when their loved ones spoke to them about the rapture, they will think back to the times their loved ones spoke to them about the Lord Jesus Christ. My friends, they will think back 
think back and they will say they, 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 that they were right all the way long. I don't believe my friends. I don't believe that but uh, they were right. Now I want to think of people who profess to be believers. But I am not, uh, think of those who have a form of godliness uh, this morning, but denying his power this morning. Think of those, my friends, uh, who have a mindful of knowledge, uh, yes, of the word of God, but their heart is full of hell this morning. Think of those, uh, my friends, believers, uh, they are children of God, but they have a false assurance. Uh, a false assurance. Imagine how they will feel to know that the great tribulation is about to begin. Think, my friends, of those people this morning who were modern day Pharisees who spent their days on earth pointing the finger at others and how they don't meet the standards of Christ, not considering the fact that the rapture will be for just old fashioned sinners. Save, my friends, by the grace of God. Yes, I'm sure such uh, such the people building moments after the rapture will be full, full of self-righteous people who saw themselves as being above others. The rapture, the people who thought uh, they were good enough to be rapture because of their own merit this morning. My friends and beloved, hallelujah. Praise God. Hold on to Jesus. Hold on to Jesus. Jesus is the assurance of salvation and not your good works or behavior this morning. God is a merciful God and he loves you, my friends. Yes, he loves you. Yes, my friends. Second Peter uh, chapter. Chapter 3 verses 9 reads, The Lord is not slack concerning his promises, as some men count slacknesses, my friends, but he has long suffered to us, word, not willing that any should perish. Yes, my friends, but all should come to repentance this morning. Yes, the delay of the coming of the Lord is not as a result of failure or weaknesses to bring what has determined into reality. My friends, God cannot fail. God cannot fail what most people refer to as delay in the coming of the Lord is, my friends, actually an act of mercy which God is extending to sinners this morning. God does not want anyone to perish. Yes, he delaying the return of the Lord Jesus Christ, my friends, so that sinners will have the opportunity to repent this morning it is not uh, the will of God for anyone to go to hell therefore my friends he is patiently awaiting for all to come for all to come to repentance we in our finite mind this morning and finite understanding this morning perceive the weight of the second coming of our Lord as a delay but my friends it actually it is not a delay this morning whatever the coming of the Lord that uh, Jesus Christ will happen my friends on the appointed time according to the God's timing my friends yes any perceived delay from our perspective is due to the long suffering this morning of God Almighty think about it think if the Lord return 10 or 2 years from now or maybe even uh, next 5 years from now do you think that you will have been raptured this uh, was very in this very moment all across the world there are people coming to know Christ, coming to the Lord Jesus, that the heart of the Father God, my friends, has the heart of, of a loving Father. Yes, his heart isn't like our hearts, my friends. Yes, he is God. He is a God of compassion this morning, a God that wants to create his creation, to spend eternity with him. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord this morning. My question to you is this morning are you saved do you know jesus christ as lord and savior have you accepted him as lord and savior do you receive the free gift of salvation he said in his words he is not willing that any should perish but all should come to repentance he came into the world not to condemn the world but the world through him might be saved he says come now and let us reason together said the lord though you're 
your sins be as scarlet, it shall be white as snow, though it be like crimson, it shall be as wool. My friends, God says in his words, John 3, 16, for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have eternal life. My friends, God wants you to have life, and life eternal. Remember, Jesus Christ came into this world. The Son of God was sinless. He came to die for mankind. He came to die for you and me in the Garden of Gethsemane. When he was praying, my friends and beloved, he began to pray. And he says, Father, if it's, uh, if it's possible, let us go past me but nevertheless not my will but thine will be done my friend Jesus Christ prayer was so intense that he began to sweat blood no human being have ever sweat blood before he went before the city even council my friends and the soldiers plucked the beard from his face and his beard fall to the floor. Can you imagine? And blood drip to the ground. My friends, he, the soldiers, ran the crown of thorn into his head. And the blood flows to the ground. Can you imagine the plinkle thorn that was wrapped in the Lord's head? He shed his blood the third time for my sins and your sins. The Bible says he was beaten with 39 stripes with a cat and nine tail upon his back. His flesh was ripped and marred. On the floor was his flesh and blood. He died. He took 39 stripes for my sicknesses and my pain and your sicknesses and your pain and your disease and by his stripes you were healed on Golgotha he had to, to drag the cross upon his back to Golgotha the place of Calvary and my friends there he was nailed to the cross with his hands outstretched on the cross the soldiers hammer the spike nail in the palm of his hands they plant his feet and hammer the spike nail into his feet, my friends, and the blood flows to the ground. The soldiers plunge a spear into his side and every drop of blood and water flows to the ground. Jesus Christ shed his blood seven times for you and for me. My friends, he died so that we might have life and life more abundantly. He paid the price he did not owe. Yes, because of his love for you and me this morning. My friends, accept Jesus Christ as Lord and Savior, salvation is free. All you need to do, you cannot save yourself today. All your righteousness are like filthy rags. We are all born in sin. Our nature is sinful in this flesh. We cannot please God. That is why Jesus Christ says, unless a man be born again, he cannot enter into the kingdom of God. That which is born of the flesh is flesh. And that which is born of the spirit is spirit this morning. Let's give him a big hand. Hallelujah, my friends and beloved, in order for you to be heaven, your home, you need to be born again. Hallelujah, my friends, those who are sick this morning, I'm here to pray for you. There is a tremendous uh, anointing of God, the Holy Spirit uh, in this place. Uh, for God has anointed me to preach the gospel to the poor, to set the captives free, to heal the sick, raise the dead, uh, make the lame walk and blind see. Yes, and God did me in the river of liquid fire of the Holy Spirit this morning as I pray for your people, uh, as I send forth the anointing. Many will be healed, many will be saved, many will be blessed, uh, many will be delivered, many will be set free for all manner of sicknesses and pain and disease and infirmities right now where you are if you have cancer if you have AIDS you have COVID you have diabetes you have a heart problem a liver problem a lungs problem a kidney problem I want to introduce you to the healer this morning if you're blind you're deaf you're dumb you're lame I want to introduce you to Jesus Christ the healer this morning if you're suffering from depression oppression frustration anxiety if you have generational curses upon your life if you're demon possessed and cannot sleep in the nights and want God to deliver you from the works of darkness I'm here to tell you that introduce you to the healer Jesus Christ is in the healing business he died for you he took the stripes for your sickness if the doctors have given you up and say you will not live you will die I'm here to tell you this morning you will not die you will live to fulfill purpose and calling and destiny destiny because God has not finished with you. You will not die before your time. The devil will not cut you off before your time in the name of Jesus. Let's give him a big hand. 
Hallelujah. My friends, this morning, all you need is a little faith as a grain of mustard seed. And if you have faith as a grain of mustard seed, you shall say to the mountains, Be thou removed and cast henceforth into the sea, and it will obey you. Is what is your mountain today? Is your mountain sicknesses today? Is your mountain a pile of bills? Is your mountain decision making? What is your mountain? Is your mountain demon possession today? What is your mountain? Cast it upon the Lord today. He's going to set you free. He says he, he take all your burdens and your pain and your sicknesses. Are you ready right now? Wherever you are listening to me, whichever country you are listening to me, I want to tell you that God is no respect of persons. God says in his words, we must lay hands on the sick and they shall recover as preachers. But God is not limited this morning. God is no respect of persons. There is no distance and buyers. Where prayer is concerned this morning, my friends and beloved, I'm going to send for the anointing through the power of the Holy Spirit. Get ready to receive your healing. Get ready to receive your deliverance. Get ready to receive your miracle right now in the name of Jesus. Right now in the name of Jesus. Be Heal in the name of Jesus. Be set free by the power of the Holy Spirit. Whom the Son set free is free indeed. I see many are healed. Many are saved. Many are delivered. Many are set free from all manner of sicknesses and pain and disease and infirmities and evil and every work of darkness. I see demons that are fleeing left, right and center. You will have some sleep tonight. My friends, go back to the doctors and let them check you. That sickness, that disease, that pain, that evil is gone. That migraine headache is gone gone today. That pain in the joints all of your body is gone in the name of Jesus. Let's give a big hand. Let's give a big hand today. Thank God for the healings. Thank God for the miracles. Thank God for the deliverance, my friends. Hallelujah. My friends, write me, text me, call me and let me know what God has done for you. It has been a great joy and privilege this morning to be here, my friends and beloved, to pray for you, to preach to you, to minister to you. To encourage you, my friends, God bless you richly. I love you in the love of God. Do have a sweet and wonderful day. I'll see you tomorrow by the grace of God in Jesus' precious and gracious and wonderful name. Amen and amen. Praise God.